Hi, everybody. I'm here with Michelle. Michelle is one of our Twin Flame Body practitioner coaches. And we want to talk to you about some things that are pretty important for the year of 2024. Um, number one being that in the beginning part of this year, you're probably getting woken up. I'm hearing it from everyone. So Michelle, you were just saying that uh, one night you woke up four times, right? Yeah, I was up four times walking around just trying to work off this energetic sleeplessness, I guess you could say. I just wanted yeah. to sleep. And I know I know a lot of people have been feeling that way too. So yeah, <laughs> getting yeah, up. I'm going in the room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, I honestly feel like the majority of the world is like waking up somehow, some way, and they're literally being woken up at night and um, mm -hmm. can't really go back to sleep. So um, we are talking about how does this pertain to your twin flame journey? Because you are supposed to be with someone. And for you, Michelle, you have a lot of... Uh, uh, I would say like interest in seeing that people really find themselves first and, you know, kind of like, I mean, it goes beyond working on yourself, but you're creating yourself. You're, you know, finding the new bells and whistles about yourself, your gifts, your intuitions, but also you're saying goodbye to a lot of old things that will no longer work too. Well, that, that's really true. I kind of think of it as becoming the new 2.0. <laughs> you know, it's really important to really believe in yourself and that you are able to reassess your life. And you look at the different aspects of your life, like your living situation or your spending or your habits or just your self-care and you allow yourself that time to actually take for you because you are the most important person to yourself and to everybody else around you so getting yourself in check is vital for this journey and vital just for you. And I can't emphasize that enough. You are important and you need to realize your worth and your value to yourself. And you need to see this in you first before others see it. So when you take yourself and you make yourself number one and say, you set boundaries, and you say, yes, I am going to take that bath for myself. <laughs> I am going to maybe eat an apple instead of a chocolate bar. And it could start with micro, micro self movements, but you can like do that. it. Yeah. yeah, micro self movements. And I have so much more to say on this topic, but I think that's a webinar in itself. So I'm going to send it back to you, Patricia. Absolutely. I mean, any kind of change, changing habits takes 17 days. It's scientifically proven. 17 days in, you will find that you have the cellular level transformations that begin it for you to begin to be new. And the other piece, as we know, is maintaining that. And maintenance doesn't have to be hard because it's a natural part of your light body. And it's you. And it's not some abstract part of you. It's you looking out for you from your higher self level, from your inner self level, from your self self level, from your other self level. Uh, lots of levels. There's a lot of attention on you. And, and I think that kind of belies the fact that there's a, a loneliness epidemic because people are pulling apart so that they can be together with their true love. And so I think it's so important when, uh, when we were going to talk about like how think people have been like codependent in the past on things and especially that could be substances or overeating or some other form of addictive behavior. And even if people know it's not healthy, they don't always know 
what to do instead, you know, because they're worried it'll leave a vacuum in their life. Or right? totally not aware of leaving a vacuum in their life at all and feeling that that's the only resort to sublimate and to just have maladaptive coping mechanisms, we can call it. And just saying, yeah, instead of doing this, I'm just going to drink that bottle of wine or, you know, I'm going to gamble or I'm going to find some other way to get my kicks, thrills, yeah. bring myself back to relax. Again, there's so many different things to talk about on this topic. It's another oh, webinar yeah. in itself. But it, it's so important to be able to really know and really be able to point out to yourself when this is getting out of control and when you're actually doing it. Why are you doing it? What are you getting out of it and how do you feel afterwards? Those are very important things to look at and to just have that little aha moment of going, maybe this is something that I really need to look at and then have the courage to look at it. Don't shy away from it. Have the courage. You're brave. You're braver than you know that you are. And I tell this to myself and I've told this to myself. This is self-talk I'm sharing with you. That you can you can do this one little step at a time. No one says you have to jump off a cliff to get it done. It's it's not no, please big don't. Steps. baby, baby steps. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't want to go that way. So we're just going to redirect it back to little steps and just awareness. We start with awareness. And that's the way everything starts with awareness. So really, it's just agreeing with yourself to say, yeah, I need to reach out. I need to look for some help, some support, someone who can guide me, help me so I can help myself become self-sufficient. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and it's not just self-sufficiency. It is the interreliance with your higher self and not just the codependency with things or substances or uh, picking fights with people or uh -huh. toxic family or any of that. Um, and when we talk about like the, you know, like addictive things and you know, this is sometimes a knee-jerk reaction for a lot of adults by now, after doing things for years, they, I was seeing it all before the holidays. It's so much easier to get a six pack of beer and just down that instead of dealing with the emotions or solve it with a bottle of wine. But the problem for a lot of people is that becomes one bottle and then two bottles and then three bottles and then four. And know, a box of wine. Say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And this too can like lead to even more troubles than people even realize because there's health issues, there's financial issues, there's relationship issues. Instead of the flip where we aim to propose to use your light body to detox you, to use your light body where it doesn't even want those things. It doesn't need the props or any of that stuff anymore it it, it sounds well, I, okay I, to say it needs love but unless you rid yourself there's that's there doesn't leave a vacuum you fill that's true now sorry i mean to cut you off there i just get really excited and enthusiastic when i talk yeah, about for it. it you know how how do you feel after you have that cigarette <laughs> how do you feel feel after you've had that bottle of wine you know how do you feel after you've lost your money gambling I mean you usually feel not so good and layering that upon that of not so good not so good is kind of like carrying around a whole bunch of bricks all the time and how long can you sustain that it's not sustainable exactly so it's time to turn it around and make your life sustainable, not only sustainable, enjoyable, lovable, joyful, happy, blissful, all, all the things that you that get delayed and push back to take precedence over the isms. Yeah. So 
yeah, there's so much more beauty and joy out there to experience and behold and discover instead of just hiding it and forcing it down and diminishing it with addiction. Yeah. I feel the first part of this year is definitely an emotional hangover of what did and what didn't happen during the holidays for a lot of people. All of those well intentions, like New Year's resolutions. And, you know, if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, because that's how it gets to feel. You just get sick and tired or you bore yourself with it already. And like, you don't even know what else to do. We have the how to. Michelle is very well versed in how to use your light body to heal the damage that comes as the result of these things and bring the result of doing the work, the real work, the real light body work that makes lasting permanent results. And I have to add to that, Patricia. I've, mm -hmm. I've had my addictions and I've had my struggles and I have risen above and made them something that don't exist in my life anymore through working with my light body. I've had, I've experienced this. I know how it feels. I know how good it does not feel. I know the feelings behind it and there is help. There is solution. There is resolution to this. All you have to do is take that first step and say, I want to change. And yeah. change scares the tar out of a lot of people. You mentioned the word change. It's like, oh, no, but it's not scary. <laughs> it's not scary at all. Yeah. And change is good. Change, change your mind about that because there's so much more waiting yeah, change for the better is good, but a lot of people until they begin to feel good. And that's one of the most surprising things about detoxing is that people start feeling good and then they wait for the shoe to drop. And if you're not picking up, that shoe doesn't drop. It's time for your next steps. And this is something that a lot of programs cannot address is how to detox properly. What herbs or nutrition would help you? How do you bring your own nervous system back from those death throes of the neuropathy, pins and needles sensations, achy shoulders, um, eye damage, like the things that happen with cigarettes, alcohol. It even happens to people when they've gone through chemotherapy. And years ago, they didn't know this. Years ago, they didn't know if they prescribed opioids to people, they'd have to give them a laxative too, because all those nerves would just freeze up or seize up and they wouldn't operate properly. So you had people with secondary issues that they needed to also heal and, or as you could say it, detox and heal from and permanently improve their physical uh, systems through their brand new light body. Yeah. Here, here. <laughs> yeah. So Absolutely. um you and I both have had to do that. I've been a guide and um we have ways and those ways include the metaphysical side of you, it includes the magical, miraculous side of you, it includes the love side of you. And the last thing you want is to be in love and have to say to your lover, Oh, hang on a minute. I'm sick with this or that, or I don't feel okay because I'm super depressed because I haven't been able to get rid of my stuff or my isms or my substances or whatever it is. And I mean, there's a lot more I can say on it, but I think in better terms, just like Michelle says, take that baby step to get started, especially if these things run in your family. Look, we're in 2024. This is perfect year to deal with ancestral things. This includes your genetics, your biology. You don't have to let yourself go down the tubes. You can actually be the generation that breaks that cycle and breaks it for the next generations. Your nieces, nephews, cousins, you know, your kids and future generations. Because the more we prototype this light body, the easier it's going to get for everyone. 
you. Well said. So, Beautiful. So, um, well, on the topic, you can write to us. Look at the links below for our description and on the website at twinflamerinconnection.com. We have a different way of doing it. This is not the 12-step way. We start engaging your light body, which naturally makes you feel like you don't want it. It's not a thought, it's a feeling. And it's heart energy. And if your heart didn't grow 10 sizes during Christmas, it's going to grow this year. So <laughs> please join us and hope to see you there. Um, thanks, Michelle. Thanks for your courage talking about this. And um, let us help you because... We're like those scouts on the trail. We're here to keep you. All the other little signs, they're little signs of your signpost, but that inner nagging feeling of maybe I should do something. Go with it. You'll be glad you did. Oh, yeah. I'm here and I would love to meet you and talk to you and let's get this started. Happy New Year. Yes, make it a happy new year. Thanks, Michelle. Right. My pleasure. Thanks, Thank everyone. You, Have a great week. Bye. Bye.